Welcome everyone. Today we'll have a very special video of getting your tier 2 materials to get your level to 1100. So in this video, as you can see in the background behind me, we have over 500 leap storms and there can be more to be collected. So what I'll do is in this video, I'll give you guys a very detailed summary of all the ways of getting those items including leap stones, destruction stones, moon spread, and all the items in this particular guide I have written for a while. As you can see, there's a lot to be told, and I listed all the ways for you guys to get things, including moon spread, how many leap stones you can get, and what are the things you can do daily. I want to list all of them to help you. And finally, I'll give you my guide to how to collect now also how to use those particular materials and where to buy them, how to use them. So this guide is going to be very comprehensive. And if you do follow my guide, you can save, you know, over tens and thousands of gold. I estimate that you can save about 50,000 gold by doing this way, because currently the market in the shop is crazy. I'll just show you guys the market in the shop. So currently the markets in the shop, you can see that the leap stones are going you know, 182 gold and it's it's pretty insane. I think as I was typing it was 140 gold. It goes up and down and it's pretty crazy. And just in case you guys are wondering, yes, I'm about to be 1100 now and I'm just about four items away. You can see my gold. I can easily get to that, but I don't want to rush. I want to save my gold and I don't want to rush to tier two today. I can do it tomorrow or the day after. I still want to do my dailies. There's no rush for me. So I want to share you guys the method that can save you tons of gold. So coming over to our summary notes and know this quite a bit guys, but stick with me because this is very important. I want to give you guys all the information. So we'll talk about all the methods of getting those materials. So the first thing is, you know, there is going to be, you know, five to six key materials that you want to collect for tier two upgrades, lip stones, harmony shard, destruction shard, moon's the breath, and even the purple in the tailoring materials, you want to collect those. We'll talk about those very soon. You don't need the fusion mats. The fusion mats are those that over here, you don't really need those. We got plenty of that. So our next video, cause that will take a while and it's going to be a lot of explanation. I want to teach you guys how to go from plus 12 to plus 14 then plus 15 very, very cheaply. Not expensive, not pay to win, but just knowing the probabilities and knowing the methods make them very cheap and you'll be saving a lot of gold that way. But there's a lot. So we talk about this on the next video. So right now, we want to get as much material as we can in the game. One first thing to notice is if you guys have logged in for 10 days, you would have gotten this particular shard box. This shard box contains, I do believe there's two bags of those life shards and this gave a lot of life shard. And this is one of the reasons the life shard pouches have crashed. They used to sell for like, you know, double the price. Now they're selling for much, much lower. So. In this video, we'll also talk about expecting to collect those two bags on your 10th day of logging. So for the players that didn't get early access, this will be in about, you know, a few days time for you. So make sure you do be on, on the lookout for this particular item, because I believe on the, was it on the 10th day, on the 12th day, actually, on the 12th day, you will get this bag and this will help you greatly because those items are pretty expensive. Now, throughout this video, I also refer to some of our previous guide, including the islands and also, you know, farming for different boss and also different materials and also doing the cube bar rush and also the hidden quest. I'll be referring to those because I think those will also help you to get the materials. So I do recommend going back to those videos. Now, if you guys haven't seen the island video, definitely check it out because in that video, I teach you guys how to go from 600 to 1000 with your item level. Now for a few of the harder quests that is harder to collect. The first one is going to be the distorted island. Once you get to the part it asks you for a cube ticket, you'll you know try to get a cube ticket. We do have a video of trying to, to help you guys with chances of a cube ticket. So make sure you check out the two previous videos. They talk about maybe this might help you to get a cube ticket, which is going to be a pretty big boost. So this is what you get if you get your cube ticket. You will get 400 destruction stone, 700 guardian stone, and also one purple life shard and also an island token. I've just gotten this today. As you guys saw my previous video, I just did my cube. Now, the second thing is you want to get the heavenly harmony song. This song unlocks the final quest in the Azure Wind Island. So what I mean by that is you want to come over here. There's so many overlays. So you want to come over here, find the island called Harmony Island. This island doesn't open often. So I had one yesterday, there's no island today. So you want to find an island called Harmony Island. You want to go there and just do the co-op and open the chest. There's a chance of dropping the Heavenly Harmony song 
and once you get the sun, you can finish the island and collect a lot of reward. Because if you come over here, you'll get 12 bags of 1000 life shot by completing this island. And this pretty much sets you for a big step forward for the life shot. And finally, if you guys haven't seen our double reward for the Fenora Island video, make sure you go back and have a look. I'll have a link for you guys. You can get double rewards for using a character of different sex on this island. So make sure you check those out. So those are some of the things you guys might have missed if you're doing islands. The second way is to get a lot of materials is going to be coming from dailies and also weeklies. So as I'm sure you guys have noticed, leap stones are very expensive. So if you do the daily quest that give you 10 leap stones, that's really good. So you'll be getting 30 leap stones daily. So why would I buy leap stones when I get 30 of them daily? I'm not going to rush progress to tier 3 right away. I saved my gold and, you know, I like my gold. And after that, I do want to highlight, there are a few weekly quests you might want to consider, especially the PvP quest. So what I mean by that is, so I'm trying to give you guys the full detail of everything I learned so far. So come to the weekly, and if you type on the lipstone, you can see that there's two proving ground quests, and this gives 24 and also 14 lipstones. Those two are pretty good. It takes about less than 20 minutes to complete each of them, so five entries. And once you have complete those, you'll get those lipstones. They're really good. You can save one spot for the boss rush if you get lucky. If you don't, you can always find a different thing, you know, the 8 lipstone from the Guardian Raid is not bad as well. Now on the chance you actually have too much lipstone, which is going to be very rare, because the next video will talk about it, you will need a lot of lipstones. You can still go for the Harmony Shard or other items you want for your weekly quest. Now at this stage, you guys are probably wondering, hey, I know those methods, but stay with me guys, there's a lot of other methods I want to talk to you guys about. So we're going to talk about the easier methods first, then we're going to talk about the more unknown methods as well. So the next one is going to be Guardian Raid and also Chaos Loots. As you can see over here, one thing to notice is that the first clear and also welcome package will give over 200 leapstones in the Guardian Raid. So I think it's about 9 leapstones per clear for each of the Guardians. And what I do is, so if you come to the welcome package, I do believe there is part, yes. If you clear the guardians over here, you can see that they give a lot of leap stones. So I think there's one more. So there's, there's a few of those guardian rays here. There's one more to give 30 leap stones. So just by clearing guardians, you get those leap stones. Those are not tradable. So what you want to do is, you want to try to clear those as quickly as you can. You don't even need to do them two times a day. You can do them multiple times. I do have replays of me fighting the Guardians, and I do think the hardest Guardian is the 4th Guardian, which you have to toss the rock at the Guardian. And this is the tier 2 4th Guardian. So what happened was, I was lucky to be on a party with a Gun Lancer and a Paladin. And we tried the mercs, we can't do the mechanics. <laughs> and we just tanked it, we didn't die. We took a sweet time. It took us like 17 minutes to kill it. But guess what guys, the boss's HP is very low compared to other bosses. So if you can't do the max, just don't die, just cast your spells and cast your damage. If your item level is about a thousand, you can all tank the boss and kill this fourth guardian. And once you kill it, from the other guardians, you know, one to three and also four to seven guardians are very easy. And they give a massive boost of leap stones as you clear those. Just to give you guys a comparison, if you run a tier two third guardian, you get four leap stones per run. But if you run the seventh guardian, which is pretty much the similar easy difficulty, you get 9 leap stones per run. So that's 18 leap stones, which are tradable. And just to show you, I've been trading my leap stones. So I sold my 18 leap stones today for 3,500 gold. That's why I'm not rushing to tier 3, guys. I'm selling the leap stones and making a profit right now. So just, I want to give you guys some details. And as you know, you will get some leap stones from KS Dungeon as well. So it's about 5 leap stones per day, per run. So you can get about 10 leap stones from the KS Dungeon. Those are not tradable, but you will be needing those. Now coming over to all my previous videos, which we talk about three shops that will reset weekly. So those shops are the Guild Shop, Pirate Coin Shop, and also the KS Dungeon Exchange. Those will give you a lot of tier 2 mats as you exchange weekly. So make sure you also exchange the materials you needed in those shops. I believe at the shop level 1 with the guild, you can also buy the leap stone over here. And you can buy only 4 of those, but hey, since they're really expensive, you can buy those over here. Now coming to one of the biggest way and also the cheapest way to beat the market and also to get items. This is free to play guys. You might save cash shop over here. I will show you guys right now, step by step, how to get a massive discount using the cash shop. And basically we have videos about this and I'll have the links available for you guys to explain, but I'll show you guys step by step. 
So you'll be exchanging gold for gems, and then you use those gems to buy the leapstones and other things that's expensive currently. So currently in the exchange, I had a look in my server, it went from 95 to 265 gold per 95 gems, but this is still worth it. Because if I'm looking for leapstone, let's say I'm always looking for leapstone, you know, because <laughs> we're always short on those. So if I'm trying to buy leapstone from the market, what's going to cost me is just to buy one, it cost 175 gold. That's just one leapstone. But if I have two, oh, it fell to 200. That's not bad. I was going to buy one to show you guys. If I have 200 gold, I'm going to buy 95 crystals with my 204 gold. I'll show you guys this live. That's how I got my crystals here. So I purchase and this will tell me purchase success. So once I have made the purchase, sometimes they sell instantly, sometimes it takes a while. So I do recommend purchase at least 95 of the crystals with about 200 or even 300 gold. And once you do that, if you come over to the history, you can see previously I was spending 90 gold to buy those crystals. So now it's much more expensive, but it is still worth it. Once you have about 95 crystals in your, in your account, come over to the cash shop. Mari's cash shop sells leapstones. And notice here, not the, not the tier 1 one, guys. Get the tier 2 ones. <laughs> so, where is the tier 2? Yeah, the head is. I said one to show you guys. Those leapstones can be sold. I'll move my head over here just to show you guys the whole price. So, once you have 95 gems or crystals, come over here. So, you, you'll be buying crystals with your gold. And it may take 100 gold, 200, even 300 gold. If the price is right, if you need a lot of leapstones, you can buy it over here. And this will cost me 14 crystals. I actually spent 5,000 gold to buy 5,000 crystals on my previous video. So I didn't pay for any of those. It's pretty much, you know, I only use those to expand my accounts and the rest crystals I actually bought them using my gold. So you can buy those for 14 crystals and this is a massive discount. So cash shop is actually open to everyone if you have the gold. Now, what if you don't have the gold for it, you'll be asking. So come over to this video. This video will teach you how to get 5,000 plus gold per day with free to play if you're tier two. You can get about 2000 gold if you're tier one. So there's a lot of ways to get gold guys. And this only takes two to three hours. Now currently buying from the cash shop just for the lipstone is worth it just because the price is ridiculous high. And I do want those two, 10 lipstones. But if the price changes guys, make sure you double check the cash shop for its rates compared to the rates in the marketplace to see which is cheaper. Because you'll be buying items with your gold anyways. Why don't you buy gems then use gems in the cash shop to buy items. So make sure you check the cash shop. And for me currently, it is also worth it to buy the, the Guardian Stones. For 80 crystals, I will get 400 Guardian Stones. And for me at the moment, it is worth it because my, you know, my crystals were bought one to one. So it basically cost me 80 gold to buy 400 Guardian Stones. So that's why I check the value and it is worth it for me to buy those. But I don't recommend buying the you know, other ones. You could buy the, the life pouches if you need those, but do not buy the distraction stones. Those are not worth it in the cash shop. Now, by this time, you would have collected a lot of materials, including, you know, shards, harmony, and also leapstone. And you might have gotten your item to plus 11 or plus 12. This is when you might want items like the mood bread and also a lot more leapstones. Because <laughs> guess what, guys? It costs extremely a lot to get weapons to plus 13 and 14 with leapstones. It's like, We've got used like 20 or 30 of those. It's crazy, especially when you fail. So there's two ways to get additional items, but those two are not very predictable. One is going to be the cube, one is going to be the boss rush. The cube will give you 25 non-tradable Moon Breath. The boss rush will give you 56 non-tradable Leapstone, plus a 24 Leapstone if you also collect the daily, the daily challenge for the boss rush. We do have a video. I actually managed to do this today. So make sure you have a look at this one. So where did it go? It's this one. Make sure you have a look at this video for me to explain ways to get those tickets. There's two ways to randomly drop them. One is from a special monster in the Chaos Dungeon. The second one is actually from a chest you can purchase from the guild shop. So make sure you watch this video. So over here, this is the chest you can purchase. And those are the loot I got just by killing the Chaos Monster. We have a short clip here of showing you guys what I did in the chaos and what to look for to have a chance of getting those tickets. So definitely check out this video for the cube and also the, the boss rush. Because as you see in my thing over here, the doing one cube for tier 2 also gives you those rewards for the distorted island quest to finish it.
Now as we keep going for methods of more reward. If you guys have seen my video of making 5000 gold a day for free to play players, you want to do the gold ship and also rock boss. So it is this video over here. Make sure you watch this video for more details. But currently I've counted the resource you can get from those boss. So you get 16 moot breath per gold ship at item level I believe a thousand or maybe 960. Yeah, I think it's 960. 960 will give you 16 moot breath, but it is a little difficult. So make sure you watch the other video to know about this. The world boss at item level 880 will give you six smooth breaths each time you kill it. The world boss at 1040, the soul's garret, I tried those two, I only tried those two, it will give you 10 smooth breath. So those are some of the bosses you can do every day if they appear on the calendar over here. So make sure you mark them down and do those. So you can see if it's claimed or not. You can only do those once a day if it's available. Those boss will also give no tradable 1 to 200 destruction stones, 400 to 800 guardian stones each kill. So you actually stock up a lot of those. And just to show you guys, I'm stocking up to 900 destruction stones. I don't know what to do with them because I got my weapon to plus 15 already. What a waste, right? So I'll talk to you guys about this as well very soon. Now, hopefully you guys have noticed I'm trying to share everything with you guys, how to get those materials for free, how to find ways in the game to get them and to buy them at a massive discount even in the cash shop i'm trying to share those with you guys so what this means is i want to show you guys a f to play free to play approach to get those materials and i want to share some of you of my logic i never buy any red destruction shard because guess what i'll show you guys the honey technique to get weapon to 15 because it's not worth it to buy those shards because you will need to rate up your weapons because they cost a lot of leap stone so next video, we'll talk about this. For the blue guardian shards, I'm keeping all of my tradable ones because currently the price is like 20 gold per 10 stack in the market. It's really expensive. We do get a lot of those from the boss shops. So here you get a lot of those. You can also buy them from the cash shop if you trade the gems for gold. Now we have talked about the harmony shard. The two things to focus on is that you can also buy the harmony shard from the cash shop. So the cash shop over here also sells harmony shard. Just make sure you check the value for it. It costs 19 gems for five pouches. So that is the thing. For me, it is still worth it because I did stock up a lot of crystals previously when the price was cheap for gold for crystals. After that, what you were looking for for the harmony shard is going to be the 12 day claim. And finally, you want to get ha heaven's harmony of oh, the song, right? The heavenly harmony song and get those 12 more pouches over here from the welcome challenge and this should definitely give you a plenty of harmony shards and this might even take you all the items to plus 14 just with all of those and also the islands of course next up for the leap stones you can get over 40 of those for free each day so i still puzzle why people spend so much i did rushing for tier 3 so quickly so i sold all my tradable leap stones for 120 to 200 gold i know i sold them for a little cheap right so you can see i'm selling my leap stone for I think I sold those for 199 gold and they still sell. So I'm not I'm not buying leap stones, I'm selling them guys because they're ridiculously expensive. I'm getting 40 for free each day. That means I make 40 times 200 gold. So I make 8,000 gold a day if I don't buy them. I just sell mine. I sell my tradable ones from the Guardians. Next up, the item will be moved breath. Those items will increase your rate for your upgrade. And I have been saving oh, so many overlays. I have been saving a few of my moon breath. It will, it will take you 20 of those per weapon upgrade after level 13. I think it's very worth it. We'll talk more about this in the homing video next. The price for those items in my server is about 30 to 100 gold. Now, one little tip, guys, I want to share this with you in the marketing and also trading video. He said you buy them after reset of a day with a new chaos gate. Wait for 30 minutes, the price would drop by 10, 20%. They used to sell for 60 gold, then they sell for 30 gold. That is ridiculous, right? But if you wait for 10 hours after the chaos guy disappears, they will sell for double. So make sure you check the timer for reset and if there's a chaos guy for that day. It is estimated you might need about 200 of those. So either you farm them yourself by doing the, you know, the dungeons and killing the boss monsters like the ghost ship and also the world boss and also doing the cubes. So either you farm those yourself or you can buy them. And if you do plan to buy them, I did buy about a hundred of those, maybe even, yeah, about 150 of those. So 
With those, you try to aim for about 60 to 40 gold if you can. 30 gold is extremely low. So it's hard to tell though, the price always changes. Now finally, for the tailoring materials. So those are the purple materials. I'll show you guys over here. We'll talk about more of this for the final part because you only need those materials once you get to plus 13 or plus 14. So those are the materials over here for tier two. For the armor, it costs 1,500 gold. Yeah, I am. I might buy here, I might even buy that. But the weapon, it costs 2,600 gold. You only need those one or two of those. And it could be good, could be bad. We'll talk about more about those, whether it's worth it on the next video. Because you don't have to rush it until you get to plus 13 with all your gears. That might be plus 14. Now, hopefully this very long and very detailed video, you found it helpful because I want to pour my heart out. I want to share everything with you guys, all the ways to get those items. And basically, as you can see my gold, I didn't really spend much gold on my gears. My gears were naturally upgraded, almost free to play. And I didn't have to rush anything. So plus 15, plus 15, just three more, four more gears to go to plus 15. I can do it if I spend the gold, but I want to do it naturally. I don't want to rush. I want to enjoy my game the way as free to play as I can. So no, never purchase any gold, always farm my gold, and I'll share everything with you guys. Hopefully you find it helpful. And on the next video, I'll show you guys how to get all your gears to plus 15 very cheaply and very effectively. So we look at the raids, we look at items to use, when to use the moon spread, when to use the 10% upgrade for those bonus items, we look at that. And what do you do when things doesn't go right? We'll also look at that. Now, if you guys haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, make sure you do so, because we'll be getting a lot of guides, a lot of tips as I discover them, and I love the game. So I want to share as much as I can with you guys, and let's have a great time in Lost Ark as we explore this game and get the most out of it.